Welcome to LA Tips. My name is Alex Hughes and today we're creating a fake softbox or getting emitting objects to show a light beam. So we've got a fairly simple little setup here. Basically we've got a man in the middle of a room and we want to light him up with a softbox. And I've got to give a shout out to one of my colleagues, Brad, who said, Dear Alex, I can't make this work. Why don't emitting light objects work? Thanks Brad, that's a great question. Right now in L8, uh, objects uh, like cubes and stuff don't emit a beam of light. All they do is glow. But we can actually get around that by uh, basically faking it. So we'll create a nice little box here. We'll do a three by three and make it only half a meter high. And we'll send this up. And this will be the basis of our box. And you know what? Let's put it here. And we'll also put a pretty skin over it. Uh, let's go materials. And just make it look like it's an aluminium box. Then we're going to duplicate the object. Bring it down so we can see it. And swap it out for a panel. And then just size up the panel. so that it fits. And we can also make the panel a bit thinner. 0 0.01, lovely. Ah, uh, 0 0.01, a bit thinner than that. And then we just have to size it out. So 3.5 should actually be fine for that way. We just need to make this 3.5, like so. Then we'll slot it over the top. And the reason we do this is we don't want the entire box to emit light. We really only want uh, the bottom to emit light, like we were putting a soft cover on a soft box. So we'll drop the texture and we'll just make it completely emissive. And then we'll give it an RGBW uh, DMX control. Now what we'll see when we click save is that the object glows very, very brightly, but it's not actually illuminating anything. So the way to solve this is we need to replicate it with moving lights or lights. So if we go into fixed and we scroll down, I, for my little bits of testing, I've been using a ProLights uh, fixture called the Eclipse Panel TWC. So we'll grab the four channel version of that. And then basically we want to replicate what we want to see out of the light box just with these panels. So it doesn't matter how many of these we use for my little example here because we're going to put them all on the same channel. So I'm going to use three and I'm also going to use the hold button down the bottom right here and this will allow me to see the focus points of the other lights. So it looks like Six is going to give me the amount of light that I need, so I will turn off the hold and we'll bring them up and then we'll position them inside of our skybox. So we need to bring them a little bit this way. We just want to make sure that none of them are poking out, so we can see this one and this one are slightly poking out. And what we can also see is currently they aren't actually emitting any light. So if we bring this panel down and we rotate it to 270 degrees and then bring it back into position. And I'm just going to jump back into DMX and turn on all my lights so that they hold output and we can see that we're getting output out of them. We just want to make sure that when we drag this object over that it's going to work for us. And it is a little bit of trial and error, so as we can see we're not getting the output I want, so I'm going to try to switch to a plane and we can see that a plane works. So I, we started with a panel and I've switched to a plane and we're just going to size that up again and make sure it's sitting correctly. So right now all the lights coming out is actually coming out of our um, coming out of our sky, not sky panels but our panel lights up here 
and now we just need to replicate sort of the soft box look by just going with white. So by doing that, chucking it in for channel mode, which is the same as the panels, we're going to assign it to a channel like this, and then we're going to come into DMX and do the same thing. So we'll turn off hold, and then we'll address them. Now I could address them individually, or I could put the um, the emissive object on its own, but in this case, I just want a sky panel for a sky box that works. So I'm going to set the pitch to zero, and we're going to click apply. What that means is now that all of them are reacting to the same channels. So if I come over to my lighting system, because it's patched as an RGBW, we can actually do a red, a green, and a blue skybox, and then we can add in the white. And if we add a combination of all of them in, we get what looks like, even with uh, a bit of house light in the room, a fairly convincing spotlight or a softbox. So that's it, and obviously this could be applied to lots of other things, but this is just one way of getting uh, the results you want. If you're not running a version of CE, what you could also do, other than just you know tweaking the zoom and focus, which you could do in any version, is you could jump in to the constructor, and we're gonna copy this fixture first, so we're gonna copy this ProLights one, and we'll put it in the database for our fixed lights like so, and then we can go into constructor, and we can actually make the changes that we want to make. So if I wanted to call it, you know, uh, SB, you know, for softbox edition, we can treat the lumens, we can do whatever we want here, and then we can click save and exit, and then we just want to make sure that we're using those actual fixtures by clicking apply. And now we see that we're using the SB version. So because it's stored actually in the database, this update button that's prompting me to update the one that's in the library doesn't matter. I can now update my library without fear that it's going to break my custom fixtures. So just another little uh, tip that may help you in the future. But anyway, there is a very pretty little uh, skybox that works really well. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any questions, obviously feel free to reach out to us via the Facebook group. Uh, or Alex Hughes directly, so we've got um, support available, or just drop a comment on this video. You know, we'd love to hear from you, we'd love to hear some video suggestions. Thanks for watching.